Scorpios, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a quick energy check-in for you guys. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So we're going to see what messages the universe has for you. The first card that came out of the deck for you guys is the chariot in reverse. So you may be dealing with a cancer or you feel like something is not moving forward and you're not quite sure what to do about it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? All right, so we have the world card and we have the knight of pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone is moving extremely slow to give you what you want and you're thinking about ending this or you may have ended it. If you didn't end this connection already, Scorpios, um, this is where you're headed or this is what you're thinking. It's like you don't know if you want to be with this person anymore because you feel like you're not getting what you want. Could be an earth sign, Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn, or another Scorpio. So we have the star card here. Yeah, see, you're destined for greatness with the star card. This is also Aquarius energy. And you feel like someone is lacking like um, ambition. We have the four of pentacles. You could be dealing with someone who's hanging on to their money. And you may be trying to hang on to this connection with this person, but you don't know if you can do it anymore. We have the high priestess. I feel like you're keeping this energy to yourself. It's like you're not telling anyone. You've just been doing a lot of thinking. And your cards are like flipping out of the deck. Yeah, this doesn't make you happy anymore with this nine of cups reverse. Could be a water sign for some of you, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. The hangman, Pisces energy, something stuck. Your connection is stuck. It's not moving forward, and you don't know if you want to deal with this person anymore. It's like you're expecting more out of them. I feel like you give a lot to this um, situation that you're in, and whoever you're dealing with, they're just all talk. They come in, they do a lot of talking, okay, with this Knight of Swords energy. Um, could be reckless at you know sometimes, like accusing you of things or saying you're wrong, but I feel like with the situation, you're not wanting to deal with this. Give me one second. I feel like somebody is at my door here. Give me one second. I'm sorry, Scorpio. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're not really wanting to deal with this person anymore. And you're not quite sure what to do about it. But they keep coming in and changing your mind each and every time that you make your mind up about the situation. So we have the Justice card in reverse. So I feel like with the Justice card in reverse here, some of you could be dealing with a Libra or something's not working out the way you want it to. What messages do you have for Scorpios? What messages do you have for Scorpios? All right, so we have the Two of Pentacles. So with this Two of Pentacles energy, you're juggling here. You're juggling whether to stay or leave, or some of you could be juggling more than one person. I don't know, Scorpios. I feel like you're um, you're thinking about making moves in another direction, but you're not telling this person about it. All right, this card just flipped her on the floor. Give me one second. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups here. So I feel like what you want with this person is a family situation, but they may not be on your level. I feel um, you're thinking one thing, they're thinking another, but they may be telling you that you guys are on the same page, but I don't feel like you are. Yeah, because we have the will in reverse. So something is just, it's not the right timing for whatever this is that you're wanting with this person. I feel like they need more time to get themselves together. We have the Page of Cups here. So they want to offer love, but I feel like whoever this is, they don't have a lot to offer you. And we have the Three of Cups here as well. This person could have you in a third-party situation, and they could be hiding it. We also have the King of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there is some emotional situation that they're going through. It could be with their child's mother or their child's father. It's something here that this person is not telling you about. This Three of Cups energy. I feel like they're hiding a third party, but they, they're doing it like they're hiding it really well. Spirit, what messages do you have? Yeah, and we have the hermit in reverse. So um, if this person was being distant and cold and then changed their mind and then they started coming towards you, I feel like they were going through something with a third party and then things got worked out and now they're coming towards you because the hermit is in reverse. 
some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? What messages do you have for Scorpios? All right. I was going to say that was too many, but I'll take it. So we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Five of Cups. Um... Some of you, oh yeah, in the moon. I told you somebody's keeping secrets. This person is hiding something from you. Pisces energy here. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Seven of Swords. The reason why I feel like this person is hiding something or someone from you is because I feel like you're too much for this person. Like your ambitions, your goals, they don't feel like they can keep up with you or catch up to you. You may have like a good job or maybe you have your own business or something. And this person, they don't feel like they're on your level. You're tired of waiting on this person, I feel like. But with the Five of Cups, you still want this. You try it. You're, it's like you're trying to make this work. I'm also picking up the energy that some of you don't want to walk away from this because of the simple fact that, you know, you you feel like you keep walking away from different relationships and you never give something a chance to work and you don't want to keep like going back and forth with this person also, I feel like you guys may have came out of a relationship maybe a year ago and it didn't work for you. And now you're with this person and you just, you're not ready to give up and be back at the same place you were before. All right. So let's get some more. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Some of you actually feel that you, it's sort of like you already know this is not working, but you're trying to hang on here. Yeah, look at that, Eight of Swords. You're asking yourself, should you leave? Should you stay? Um, I just feel like you don't have, you feel like you don't have control over this or something with the Emperor in reverse. Maybe you could be dealing with an Aries. But it's something about the situation where you're like, you know what, I can't keep pushing someone forward. It's like you're trying to bring this person up to your level and push them forward and maybe help them out in some sort of way. But I feel like you're dealing with someone who's just, they want to move at their own pace. And they just may not be ready. Some of you may be dealing with the Leo. And you may feel like this person, you know, whatever you're wanting with them, they don't want right now. We also have the devil. So there's a lot of toxic energy. We have the two of swords coming out here. And we also have the hierophant. Yeah, you want a commitment. This person is not committing. They may tell you they're committing to you, but then... You may want this person to live with you so that you guys can be under the same roof or something, but they may be dealing with someone else. They may have another family situation here or another person that they're dealing with on the side that they're hiding from you because the Two of Swords is here. So they're at a stalemate between you and someone. We have the Devil Energy, Capricorn Energy here, and we also have Taurus Energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus. All right, so let's get some message cards and let's see what messages the universe has for you to share for what messages do you have for scorpio all right so that wanted to come out so we have compromise let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on us we also have new beginnings let's forget about the past take a chance and start again i feel like this person keeps telling you this but things remain the same they don't change whenever you talk about walking away or wanting something new i feel like this person comes in wanting to compromise and wanting to talk to you about new beginnings so what messages do you have for scorpios Yep, here we are. Love offer. Is your heart still open to receive my love offer? Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? We have children. Children are important to me and it's affecting our connection. You could have children with this person and this is why you're staying with them. Or they could have children by someone else. And whoever they have children by is causing them like a lot of issues and problems. They could be keeping it from you, Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Scorpios? I feel like some of you want this person to get a better job. I'm picking up that energy here as well. We have damaged. Before you date me, understand I'm damaged and broken. So this person is a damaged and broken soul. They could have went through some things in the past that they never healed from. And then we have under pressure. I'm under a lot of pressure. Please be understanding. Also, I'm picking up the energy that whoever you guys are dealing with Scorpio, whoever they have a child by, they could be stressing them out, possibly taking them to court for child support. 
or just asking them for a lot. So they may not have a lot to give to you. So what messages do you have for Scorpios? All right, so we have wear and tear. This love is starting to wear on me. Something has to change. And then we have waiting. Waiting for your return hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. So for some of you, you may not be talking to this person. You guys may be separated right now and you're waiting for this person to text you or call you. All right, so we have slow down and we have fatal event. There's no need to rush it. Slow down, let's take our time. And then we have... I'm sorry for what I've done. There's not a whole lot I can say. So this person did something to you, but I feel like they're going to come in and they're going to text you, talk to you about something here. But I don't know if you want to hear it, Scorpio. You may not be in a mood to hear it. This card wanted to pop out. And then we have sex. I'm not saying that sex is all I want, but I want your touch. I feel like whenever this person wants sex, they call you. You, you let them come over or you go over there. And then like you don't hear from this person for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. What messages do you have for Scorpios? And then we have playing games. Playing around, having fun, didn't mean to waste your time. We have self-love. I'm learning to love myself and make my happiness a priority. And we have forgiveness. I'm willing to forgive you and let go of the past. See, you keep forgiving this person, some of you, not all. Okay, so this may not resonate with each and every Scorpio out there. But for those of you that it does resonate with, I feel like you keep forgiving this person and they keep playing games and you keep letting them back into your life. But I don't know. I feel like something about this time or the next time is going to be different. So those are the messages I have for your energy check-in. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cries Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.